Well, gracious greetings, saints, and family and guests. Welcome to another edition of Living Water for Thirsty Thursday. We've been talking about curses, generational curses. Uh, we connected it with uh, the Advent because of the Christmas season, the Adventus, uh, Christ coming, uh, making a big difference for this. And uh, we want to kind of put a book in on this, uh, talking about indeed the impact that Christ can make on generational curses or curses in general. I remember we talked about curses. It is to show a feeling of hate towards, right? That you really despise and you're plotting and planning somehow the demise of someone else. Uh, we kind of talked a little bit. Does it have anything to do with uh, things being hereditary? Can things just automatically be passed on from one person to another? And remember, uh, behavior is learned. Uh, it's not hereditary. So you kind of got to think through those behavioral issues versus things that are connected to our gene. And so with that being said, uh, we also talked a little bit about uh, are there things that are imposed versus inherited? Uh, meaning I've caused something to happen or someone has actually put a curse on me. And that's what we want to put the bow today. Uh, speaking about people that may put a curse on you, voodoo, uh, someone that is actually a Satan worshiper coming for you, those types of things. And then, of course, yes, uh, just the generational curse that we also talked about from uh, Adam and Eve, uh, that curse that's been passed on to all of us. And I want to read a scripture It comes from Galatians chapter three, verse 13. And it says, Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law. Let me read that again. Christ has redeemed, bought back as well as brought back, paid the cost and brought us back uh, from the curse of the law, the Ten Commandments, us not being able to perform or to keep the commandments, the first ones talking about idolatry, talking about taking care of our parents, talking about adultery and uh, bearing false witness, lying, all those things, things that we could not do on our own. Christ, the Messiah, the Savior, has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Listen to this, being made a curse, being made a curse, Christ himself being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. It's just simply saying uh, he paid a high price for us to not live under a curse, right? And this is the curse of the law. And the curse of the law and all of that that happened from the beginning is what empowers anyone to put a curse on us, even from the enemy himself. And so whether it is Satan that's trying to curse us or Satan's imps, meaning people that worship Satan or demons or any of those things, Christ and death, burial, resurrection is what overcomes any curse you may find yourself in or someone may think they have successfully placed on you. Uh, the blood of the, of the lamb is far more powerful than any issue you can have in your life. And so I want to also read from Revelation 22, 3. Uh, and it says, and there shall be no more curse, flat out, but the throne of God and of the lamb shall be in it and his servants shall serve him. And that's revelation. There will not be another curse. And this is in Revelation 22, the very last chapter of the Bible. When everything is said and done with, there is no curse. You will be delivered from your curse. Now, can people do things to you? Can people try to impose a curse upon you? Absolutely. And if you don't use the blood of Jesus Christ to overcome it, unfortunately, you will succumb to it. And so, yes, definitely use the blood of the lamb to overcome any curse you may find yourself in. Now, you may say, well, what if I don't know that I'm under curse? What if I didn't know, but I think somebody has placed a curse on me? Then you pray this prayer, you go back to this, and you come back to this scripture, which is a promise, and you say, Christ, you have redeemed me from the curse of the law or from this person or from this situation because you were made a curse for me. For it is written, cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree. And you hung on that tree for me. Verse 14 says that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the spirit through 
faith. And so you have to believe in God. That's going back to Galatians 3, 14, that I got to believe that God has broken whatever curse someone has tried to place over me generationally or somebody doing something out of spite or anger or malice, whatever the case. Well, prayerfully, this has helped you a little bit in the journey that we are on. I want to say Happy New Year to you as we are forging ahead in 2023. And I pray that you worship thee in 2023. Uh, for the next couple of weeks, Lord willing, we will actually be talking about a little different word. And that word is obedience. Yeah, do we like that word, obedience? I think we all know it's very necessary. We'll get into it. Continue to make God proud in all you say, think, and do.